called in the national team, I was at my lowest. And I remember, uh, like, I, I had to sit down and think of how far I've come from. And I just had to work hard and to make sure I, may, I make it to the team. Yeah, okay, 2020, I cleared under uh, university. And I was still in the moment of what can I do? What can I, what's next? And you're looking for jobs. It's, it's that moment where Corona has started and there are no jobs. And, uh, and I, at that time I started my small business and it was working out well. And 2021, funny thing is, uh, my business started going down. So on the other side, basketball is like, um, I'm talented in basketball. And at that time, basketball wasn't there anymore. Like we, we, we stayed home for a very long time and I had no motivation in anything. So being called in the national team at that time, it kind of lifted me up. It pulled up my spirit and I kind of, I loved it. Like it's something that made me busy and I like being challenged. So it was a good, yeah, it was a good thing that happened to me. My sister used to, my elder sis used to play uh, in high school and she used to come where during midterm she used to tell us more things she's done in school so she used to play basketball and I was wondering what's basketball, what's, what's this game. At that time I was playing football and I was an athlete and I used to run for my primary school until the national levels but uh, when I got to the national levels I never went anywhere. Yeah, so. Uh, I got interested and I told my mom I want a basketball, I want a school which has a basketball court. So I, I managed to pass and I went to Parkland Saria. That's when I started my basketball. Uh, I wasn't really serious about it, but in Form 2, Form 1 third term is when the coach convinced my parents that I should join boarding school so I can play basketball. So that's when I started playing basketball. That was back in 2012, no, 2011. And then in 2012, I, through hard work, yeah, and putting in F good work, I, I managed to represent the under 18 national team in Rwanda and in Senegal, Dakar. And then um, after that uh, is when I realized that basketball can take me far. Because I never, I never really thought about basketball being something that I can earn from or something that can push my, my talent to a higher level, yeah. So uh, playing for the national team under 18 really motivated me and that's when I started taking basketball seriously. So after that, uh, after clearing high school, I joined ZTEC University to do my diploma. At that time, yeah, I just played basketball for ZTEC and then I finished diploma, I went to UON, University of Nairobi and uh, I kind of felt like I can't play basketball there because most of the time my, class would start, my classes would start at 9am and end at 5. By the time 5 reaches, I'm very tired and I want to sleep. So I used to get home at around 7. So I had no time for basketball. And then uh, uh, after that uh, is when I, a friend approached me because he, he'd seen me play and he approached me and told me that I could play for USIU and they would give me a scholarship. Oh, so that's, uh, that's when I, after a few months, I was given a scholarship here in USIU. Having my parents around and my sisters and mentors, I, I would say that I made the right decisions and yeah, I'm happy where I am today. Playing for Storms, uh, I would say that I, I, had, I had more time with the coach, so the coach kind of develops my skills and I would say this during, okay, I, my classes are usually in the evening, so during the day I work together with my coach, I go to the gym, we come back and do some skills, I develop my skills, so I would say uh, Storms has molded me to be where I am today and uh, it keeps giving me more challenging opportunities and through Storms I was 
I was able to be called to the national team and I actually made it. And uh, so far during, in the league, we are number five and we are, the playoffs is starting this weekend. So we are looking forward to, to it and hopefully things will work out for us. I want to put more effort so I can be there and represent my country. Representing my country is an honor to me. I, I really appreciate it and I love playing for the national team. It's the best feeling. <laughs> Being a point guard is it's something so many people don't like being, uh, so many players don't like playing that position. So for me, I took it as a challenge and I started working on it. And I believe in, in a few years to come, I would, I, would be, I would be the main point guard in the national team. I'm looking up to Natalia Kinyi. I'm looking up to uh, Samba Mjomba. And th those are Kenyan players. And I'm also looking up to, in the post level, uh, there are players who, who usually motivate me. And the way they play, I just love the way they play, they, their attitude, their, the way they encourage younger players. I would say uh, Masi Wanyama and Rose Uma. Mm. I also like Victoria, Victoria Reynolds. Yeah, the way she plays, it's just un unbelievable. Apart from basketball, um, I do forex trading as I'm looking for job opportunities. Uh, I, I, I gym, I go to the gym, I watch movies. I, that's it. I think that's, that's all I do. And I like going to scratches. <laughs> yeah. Scratches. Uh, scrimmage, the way they are doing, yeah. Just, just playing basketball, yeah. Uh -huh. My target this year is to be, to be better than last year, yeah. Just I just want to be better than last year.